We're married. Each time I make a memory, then I'll try to make it with you. Hey besties, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to film the life update as well as answering questions that you guys forwarded to me or commented in the previous video that I had asked for you guys to leave the questions down below. I wasn't quite sure how I'm going to do this video, um, what information I want to put out there and how I want to put that information out there because I don't like to put much of my personal life or more like my relationship out there online. But I feel like this one is a little bit of a tough cookie to keep a secret. So without keeping you guys in any further suspense, which I think you guys already know from my previous video, but we are married dizzy and i went ahead and got married and i know it sounds very simple when i say it like that it almost like we just got up and we decided to get married we followed tradition and uh, we had like a full-on traditional wedding which was actually super super nerve-wracking it was probably one of the most exciting scariest and just anxiety filled day for me as much as i loved it i did not like having to sit back and watch things unfold with zero control yes i'm a bit of a control freak so that day taught me a lot about letting go and a lot about just going with the flow so we did get married it's a massive massive step um but to be honest i feel like it doesn't change much except um now with like surnames and stuff but i've always personally said it's not about marriage it's about what's in your heart i mean we could very well get married today and then be divorced tomorrow if we are not in it for a lifetime um i've always been in it for a lifetime from like day one i still remember that day on that couch in that apartment and uh dizzy and i we've had this conversation before that yes it would be awesome to be married from the legal perspective and it would make life so much easier i mean we have two beautiful children now um, and all of that stuff but regardless of whether or not we're married we are in it for a lifetime so um yeah now we are legal <laughs> legally married almost nine years together and only now we're getting married i don't quite know how to give you guys an update on this without giving without like spilling out too many personal details i wasn't necessarily going to say anything about us getting married before we actually get married because i feel like marriage is such a personal thing and uh, it holds so much value and it's a serious issue too so i wanted it to be as sacred as it possibly can be be something that I share with Daisy and our families and uh, our closest friends. And I'm happy that everything worked out the way it did. I'm sorry I kept you guys in the dark, but to be honest, I did say in one of my videos that I will probably be one of those people who goes to get married and come back and say, I'm married, and then um, just call it life. And here I am. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a woman of my words. If I say something, I mean it. If I say I like it, I like it. If I say I don't, I don't. I will be sharing with you guys or I will try and share with you guys like the video from the actual day. We're still waiting for that from the videographer. I don't know how much footage he got. I don't know when I'm going to get it because he's going to obviously take it to my parents' house. I'm out here in Joburg. They are there in Northwest. Um, but we'll see. And then another big thing that happened is I have officially moved out of my place or so my apartment i actually moved out february and uh we moved into this apartment we've been here and uh we are actually going to be moving real soon as well this apartment is obviously a one bedroom apartment it, we are perfectly fine in here but if they knew that there's four people here we probably would get into some sort of trouble because i don't think one bedroom apartments are made for four people um even though peanut is still just a tiny baby but we are moving i'm super stoked to set up peanuts nursery and cable to bonus bedroom it's gonna be epic my life has changed dramatically since peanut was born and uh, i've just taken my time to absorb a whole lot of stuff and to make sense of a whole lot of stuff and um, i just wanted to do it on my own my way at my own pace and i'm sure you guys have picked up that we are obviously here i never really talk about my apartment anymore um that's because i moved out in february moved out of my place moved in with dizzy we got married we're moving out of here to get like a bigger place which is super 
And then there's that issue about school. What is going on? Am I going to school? Am I not going to school? What the heck is going on? At this point, I am set or due to go back to school in July. I'm still like in comms with my faculty and my class coordinator to find out how I should do the registering and stuff because I haven't quite registered yet. Um, I'm essentially moving, I dropped not dropped out but i dropped the group that i had started school with they actually done with all the modules they are submitting the final assignment in july and then graduation in december but i can only go back to school in july which means if everything goes well i will graduate in december and i say if everything goes well referring to registration and stuff i know i will kick booty when it comes to school work and stuff i know this is probably sounding very vain right now but you gotta talk the positive stuff just Put it out there to the universe and then just watch it happen i will kick some booty i will ace the modules and i will graduate when the time comes so yeah i'm waiting for them to confirm and let me know if i can go ahead and register and then start school i am still working you guys i'm still like a working mom but i'm still on maternity leave you guys are probably thinking this woman has been at home forever <laughs> when is she going back to work i will be going back soon don't worry um i'm pretty stoked to be married to Dizzy, to be honest, he is, yeah, yeah, pretty exciting times, that's all I'm going to say. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and move on over to the Q&A portion. The first question that I'm seeing here is how old are you? I am actually 28 years old, I'm turning 29 in July, and I've never been more excited to turn 29. I'm usually the kind of person who freaks out about getting old, but right now, getting older doesn't freak me out anymore. It's more of um, how far you've come, girl. I'm super stoked to turn 29 years old, I feel like it's going to be such an adventure. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I feel like it's going to be an adventure and I'm very excited. The one that was mostly asked was, what is your living arrangement with baby daddy? Well, baby daddy has turned husband, which is crazy. Every time I say that out loud, I want to pinch myself because like, what? Baby daddy has turned husband and living arrangements, like I already explained, we are currently in this apartment, but we are moving out in a few weeks. So the next question is, how are baby peanuts milestones going? I feel like they're going great. Then again, I wouldn't know. I'm not measuring him. I'm not trying to keep track of anything. I'm just taking everything like as and when it comes, like one step at a time. He's only five months old and nothing at this point bothers me. He is just a baby. I'm not trying to say you should be rolling by now. You should be crawling by now or you should be on solids or whatever. It's just, he's a baby. He's happy, he's healthy. For me, that's top priority. And the next question, which was actually my favorite was, what nighttime nappies do you use? I still use my the normal pocket nappies. The only difference when it comes to cloth nappies is the insets you use. So at night, I use a hemp inset as well as a um, bamboo with microfiber. If you were to go out and buy like a night nappy, it'll probably come out with like a couple layers of hemp material, which will be hemp flats. It will be a little bit more expensive, I'll be very honest with you. That's why I'm choosing to use my normal pocket nappy but then with like hemp insets i use the one hemp inset with that one microfiber inset and uh, it's microfiber combined with bamboo and it lasts him the whole night i put the nappy on at like half seven and he wakes up at six and uh, by 7 a.m i already changed his nappy so i want to say it lasts him for about 12 hours and it does not leak at all it is mega heavy because all the pee but hemp is super absorbent so it does not leak which has been great and the follow-up question from there is where do you buy them i normally get my nappies from bamboo baby or fancy pants products or bitikins those are the three brands that i'm using currently i use the pockets from them and some sleeves and some all-in-ones um, they've been mega great. The next question, which I found very interesting is, do you speak in your mother tongue to your children? Yes and no. It depends what we're talking about. I know some people will have like reservations when it comes to this. It doesn't quite bother me that, um, I speak in her or him in our mother tongue. For me, if she's fluent in English, she'll be able to get through her academic achievements very well. And that's what matters to me the most. We are teaching him and her. At our own pace and then the follow-up question there is um does your child understand and can speak it back she can 
obviously Peter doesn't talk but KBM can talk and communicate here and there in Tswana um, which is similar to Soto so basically Tswana and Soto and uh, she can hear it more than she can communicate and that is perfectly fine for me if it bothers you or doesn't sit well with you remember this is our parenting choice anyway the next question what is your job and when are you going back in my nine to five i work as an it specialist or a regional specialist they call it i'm going back to work in may actually in just a few weeks this question actually had me laughing and it says do you have friends and if yes do you attend functions to answer the question yes I do have friends. Doesn't look like it though because I'm such a homebody. I don't have mutual friends in the sense that my friends don't know each other. So it's a more I must spend time with this friend and I must spend time with that friend and I must spend time with that friend. So it's not a let's all get together and be merry kind of thing. Do I attend functions? I'm assuming this is friends functions. My friends don't actually have a lot of functions which is so weird but the one friend who stays just down the road from us is getting married real soon and i'm super excited i'm a bridesmaid at her wedding so if that counts for function heck yeah i attend functions the comment continues to say my friends are close it is only me because i'm full of excuses for two kids and it's hard going out girl i completely feel you it's really hard to try and sort of be on the same page with friends that don't have kids and you have kids and funny enough all my friends don't have kids so i'm the one who's always feeling like i'm a happy meal i come with kids and toys every time we go someplace so it's really hard to try and keep friendships alive when your friends don't have children because to a certain degree they sort of don't get it it just sounds like you keep giving out these excuses about not having somebody to watch your kids or your kid being sick or your kid this or your kid that because it feels like it's an excuse they can take but to be honest i would say just be very open with them tell them it's i would love to do it but it's physically impossible for me to do it and if you can if they invite you to functions ask them if you can bring your kids with you half the time they are willing to help you out with the kids because they know that you will appreciate that adult time as much as they would appreciate you spending time with them you do get friends that are just like i want you and not your children cut the anchor that is not a friend let them go and just find people who will build you and help you and be your tribe and your village to raise your kids the next question what is your daughter's name her name is actually Kamuhelo, which means acceptance um and peanut's name is Rilebuhile, which means we're thankful and this question says it's actually more of a generic statement but it's sort of like a question also please talk about why you chose cloth nappies people always expect me to give out some sort of magical reason in terms of why i decided to use cloth nappies the honest truth is that i wanted to save money i was not about to blow all that money on disposable nappies when there was another cheaper environmentally friendly option i've answered all the questions from the video that i had asked the q a and these ones came up when i did that small update video what's the plan now that you two are wed on the current living arrangements i already answered that last question that i'm going to go ahead and answer says here what are your thoughts on purity or pre-made food versus fresh veggies or fruits cooked from scratch to feed baby i don't mind either way um the one thing that i find is very important for me is to check on the ingredients um label on the food that you're going to be buying i am more leaning towards cooking food at home however peanut is savage home guy eats like crazy um he's not like k -Bear. i went into the whole solids thing basing my experience off of what i had with k -Bear. and k -Bear was a i'll eat two spoons and call it a day peanut is a i'll have everything and want more kind of child so the food runs out so quickly just the other day i cooked up some butternut for him and blended it and i froze it it's gone now on the very same day i went and bought purity um little jars for him they're gone i have one one little jar left and i'm like seriously i literally have to get up after i film this video to go get him more purity jars and vegetables so that i can cook for him here at home i don't mind it anyway even though i'm all pro cooking at home but the reality of the matter is life happens and i always say have some sort of purity on hand or handy just in case the food the frozen food runs out or it doesn't defrost on time because you never know the most important thing is to check 
the tag and the ingredients of what's in that that you're giving the baby and uh, I guess that is basically it I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video I know I meshed basically two videos into one um, the life update and the Q&A but I found it very fitting to do so I don't know how long this video is gonna be hopefully not too long don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and until then we'll catch you besties on the next video bye besties